Start as favourites. Make two changes from their heat team as well. So there's the full lineup Romania, Netherlands, Poland, Germany, Great Britain, and Northern Ireland, Ukraine, Italy, and France. On the inside, Adelina Pastor leading off the Romanian squad. She's Ionita, Belgian, and Miklos. Laura De Witt running the 200. Her sister Lisanne De Witt, Holvenkamp, and Van Luveren following on from her. Pitak, Holub, Vyskiewicz, and Sweetie for the poles. Laura Muller leading off the Germans, followed by Molenkamp, Hoffman, and Spellmeyer. Emily Diamond starts for the Britons this time. It was Ali Doyle in the heat. Doyle goes on the third leg. Onarua on the second leg. Bundy Davis, the anchor. Ukraine, Oliv Shevska, Bibik, Melnik, and Zemliak on the final leg for Ukraine. And the Italians, Chikbola, Spaka, Bazzoni, and the European individual champion, Viviana Grenot. France, Fara Anacharis, followed by Intimoa, Gayot, and Gay. On your mark. The women's. Four by 400 meters relay final. From the inside, Romania, Netherlands, Poland, Germany, Great Britain and Northern Ireland, Ukraine and Italy. Okay. Well, a good start by Emily Dylan for the British. Also going well at this stage, Evelina Petak for the Poles. Stagger doesn't unwind until into the second leg. And on the outside as well, Farah Anacharis from France, also running well at this stage. Emily Diamond, though, running very strongly. Almost up on the two women on her outside from Ukraine and Italy. But it's Anna Chiaris leading the way for the French. Good run from Diamond at the moment. Recovering a little bit. Chigbolo from Italy. So Britain hands over first. Italy second. France third. 51 62 that leg for Diamond. Well, no, that's the time at the start. It wouldn't be to her leg, actually. Don't worry. <laughs> Anika Onorua. Leading the way. Well, all the rest of the eight women in single file behind her. Brigitte in Tiamoa. Coming up strongly now, having a good leg. The German, Frederic Molenkamp. So it will be Britain, Germany and France, and Italy in that order. Also doing well, keeping them very much in contention. That was a good run from Lisanne de Witt for the Dutch. Handed over fourth or fifth, but still in contention for a medal. But now, streaking away. Ellie Doyle. Well, this is a magnificent run from Doyle. Better known as a 400-meter hurdler, of course, but a valuable component of the British relay teams. This is Marie Gayot for France now, getting to the front. And third, it's Patricia Vyshevitz from Poland. But that was a decisive leg from Doyle. 
50.8. So Seren Bundy Davis now has the anchor leg, and really it would be a big surprise if she couldn't cross the line first. She had the luxury of being able to take it very easy during the qualifying heats, and here though, she's pouring it on, looking for a good time. Britain ran 3.26.42 in that heat. Uh, here's Floria Gay chasing her now, the French woman. And she's closing, that's for sure. But there's too much ground to make up. Gay running a fantastic leg for the French, but really it's going to be Britain all the way to the line, cheered on by her teammate. Gay is closing, but Seren Bundy Davis takes the title for Britain. France, the silver, and coming through very strongly for the bronze. Well, Libya and the Grenot, of course, the individual champion brought Italy through for the bronze medals there. So 3.25.05 for Great Britain, the fastest time by a European quartet this year. Indeed, the fastest time in the world, a world lead for that British quartet of Diamond, Honorora, Doyle and Bundy Davis. Well, they look a long, long way back. Chibola gave them a good start for the Italians, but then they were well adrift of the medals coming into that last leg. But Libiana Grenot, the individual champion, brought them through and just got that bronze on the line. Well, Doyle, the fastest leg for the British team, 50.8, but a very good start by Emily Diamond. You see that she started from the... Um, without having the flying start. So she did 51.4 and then 51.5 on Awara, 50.7 or 8 for Doyle and 51.4 or 5 for Bundy Davies. But Gay, who of course ran the brilliant leg uh, two years ago, sub 50 then finishing for France, did it must have done a similar time here. I would have thought so. She closed quite dramatically on Bundy Davies, but well, the other three British runners, and particularly Doyle, had given Bundy Davis such an advantage, it would be near impossible for her to catch there. Now we